hello and welcome to this video today we are going to be setting up for aats i want to do this now before they announce 30 more things because do you guys want to see the fillers that i have y'all this is only for their album photo cards like this is so freaking much i even had to use my colorful ones because i ran out of the white ones so yeah that's what this all is <laughs> album cards you guys like this isn't including pre-order benefits or any of the u.s cards which we'll get into but i do have here a new pack of ultra pro sleeves because i'm for sure gonna need it and then this is the binder that i'm going to be storing them in which currently holds movement and witness era but first let's talk about all the versions that there are because there's so many <laughs> Let's start with the actual album itself, so like the normal photo book version. So I'm using Hello82 as reference, but here are the three versions. So this is the A version, the Diary, and then the Z. The Diary and the Z look very, very similar in color, but I do like how they're all purple. Like, that's kind of fun and fresh. This is what they all look like next to one another. Here are the album inclusions. I actually really like how they did it this time around because uh, everything's just kind of scattered, but cohesive at the same time and makes sense. They're scattered, but in an order. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is the World Episode 2 Outlaw. So I guess Witness Era, like, should go... I don't even know. I have it in... It's going to be, like, in between the World Episode 1 and 2, but whatever. Obviously, we have the covers here. And then the disc and the envelope. The team labels, which I'm assuming is just, like, a sticker set. And then there's also an emergency kit, which I have no idea what that means. And then there's also a partner card, which I'm assuming is kind of like a postcard situation. Looks like it'll be like a sketch of the member. And then there's also, sorry, I'm going in a weird order. <laughs> and then there's also the photo book, obviously. The team mark, which I'm assuming are stickers too, or tattoos maybe, who knows. Then we have the photo card situation. So it's the same as how it's been before. So there's eight photo cards but then there's also like 16 so I don't know if these eight ones are limited and then the 16 are like the normal album cards because instead of naming them something they just have these little <laughs> symbol things so I have no idea if these are limited or not and if these will come in every album I call these the lucky cards and then these ones the peekaboo because there's like the little monkey covering its eyes and then I call the other version the i see you photo card because like peekaboo i see you you know when you play with a child and apparently ats are our children now okay then we have the diary version which has like the punching photo cards and then it also comes with units which i'm so freaking excited about i cannot believe we get units and then there's also the z version which we have the bread photo card and Y'all, I'm so excited about this because Kihyun during Voyager era, he also had a, a bread photo card. And yeah, so we have that for the 8 one. And then for the 16, we have like the crazy and then the sunglasses versions. <laughs> That's what I'm calling them because we have this crazy face and then a sunglass emoji one. So that's what that is. And then we also have action cards, which are right here. And they're the same size as photo cards. So I have to make room in my binder for those. I'm just happy we don't have IDs. I despise IDs. And then since I'm on the Hello82 website, we obviously get the US exclusive photo cards. And then they also have the Hello82 exclusive photo card, which is the O version. And then the US photo card is just called the US photo card because these come in all the US albums like Target, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and all of that. So these are the versions and stuff. We'll talk about the digipacks in a second, but I did want to talk about the U.S. photo cards since there's so many. We have this one, which is the U.S. card. This is the O version, which is the Hello82 card. The U version, looks like it's going to be them with like a sucker or whatever. What do other people call those? Lollipops? Lollipops, there we go. 
that's what it looks like it's going to be and pop-up are like the eve pink store k-pop usa there are more stores i just can't think of them those are the two major ones that i personally know and have purchased from and then we have the target exclusive photo card there's actually two so there's the t version for the album the ones that i just showed you and then there's also an exclusive photo card for the target digipack which we'll get to and then there's the Barnes & Noble exclusive photo card, which obviously comes in the Barnes & Noble one. And then the Walmart exclusive, which is the W. Why is the Barnes & Noble one called the A version? Why isn't it like the B version? And then the Hello82, why isn't it the H version? Whatever. And then there's also the Europe exclusive photo card, which obviously if you buy off of Hello82 and you live in Europe, that's the photo card you get. And then there's also UK exclusive digipacks. So they have three different ones listed on here so there's the postcard the cover photo book or the booklet the disc and then the photo card there's actually 16 photo cards this time instead of eight which is so freaking annoying so you have to get 16 digipacks to collect those and it also comes with the bookmark and then a hello 82 if you buy off of hello 82 so that's what that one is but there's also a uk version which i personally don't think i'll be getting my hands on this unless I can find it somewhere for cheap or someone's, I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure it comes with all of the same inclusions except for the photo book is different because they are member digipacks. I would love Unos. His is the only one I really want. Like I'm okay with only getting Unos if I'm able to. Then there's also the Target exclusive digipack. So there's three different digipack versions. <laughs> like why so this one i have no idea if the inclusions are the same i guess i'll find out later in life i do plan on buying i don't know it looks like it is going to be the same because it comes with the same exact inclusions so i'm assuming it's going to be the same thing as the other digipack like the same photo cards and stuff but just the outer packaging is going to be different and plus it comes with the target exclusive digipack photo card oh my gosh there's so much <laughs> Y'all, I'm not even halfway done talking about all of this. And now I'm on Eve Pink's website because we have to talk about the platforms. Oh my gosh, these platforms were so confusing, if I'm being completely honest. Let me get my cheat sheet out because <laughs> there's so much in these little boxes. It's basically like a card pack, like a deck of cards, you know. They come in those boxes. That's what this is. NCT has done this. There's another group that I recently purchased like a card box like this for but i oh it was jinky i bought his i forgot what they called it but i did buy his little card pack thing and so yeah okay so this one has so many photo cards so there's a qr photo card which makes sense since it's considered a platform and so you need the little qr code and the thing is there are 24 different photo cards and you only get one photo card per pack, which is <laughs> annoying. They also call them the mini cards, but there's three per member and there's eight members. So that's why there's 24 and you only get one per pack that you buy. So you're going to have to buy at least 24 to collect the mini QR code things. And then they also have image cards, which you get the entire set. This one, whomever you get for this so let's say i pull you know's uh mini card that means i'm guaranteed his whatever set this thing the image card set and you get all six of these i wonder if that's what the back looks like anyway so you're guaranteed that member so that's kind of nice i guess but you're gonna have to buy 24 anyway and then there's also a sticker in there the member sticker it says random so it's not guaranteed and then this one is also guaranteed so you get one out of four for these which means it bumped up how many you have to buy to collect ot8 you're gonna have to buy at least 32 platforms to be able to collect ot which is so many like that's so unnecessary <laughs> why couldn't they just give us a whole set like 24 i was like okay but then the fact that you need 32 now it's just like oh my god why kq but yeah so you get one out of four and it's the same as whomever you pull for those things so you're guaranteed that photo card and then there's also another random photo card which is this one you either get i'm assuming it's a glasses photo card and then a fire photo card 
And then the third photo card, you get one out of 16 as well. And it's either like the where they're resting their head on their hand and then the peace sign photo card. I think those are all of the photo cards and then you get a limited poster, one out of three, who cares about the posters? So yeah, for these, you have to buy at least 32 platforms to be able to collect OT8, which is a lot. You're going to end up with so many extras of the image cards and then of the these ones and the stickers. Uh, I hate how they did this, to be honest, because with like every other group like nct it was only like one or two random photo cards whereas with this you have like four random photo cards they made it so complicated and everyone was confused but i think that's how it works the way i just explained it as you can see you can buy it on eve pink and i'm pretty sure you can get it on all of young's website mini records website because they're doing pre-order benefits with these and those are the only other two stores I can think of, plus Eve Pink and K-Pop USA. But other than that, I'm not too sure. As you can see, we have so many different versions. I needed three different tabs to be able to show you guys everything. And yeah, let's quickly talk about the pobs that they've announced as well. Besides like the Hello82 ones I just showed, I think it's only the ones I'm about to say. So Soundwave, let's count it on my fingers. Soundwave. B stage, Apple Music, From, which is Wonderwall, Yes24, With Mew, Make Star, Everline, and Mocket Shop. So there's nine pre orders so far, I think. There might be more, I might be missing some. Plus, like Hello82, Barnes and Noble, Walmart, Target, the pop up store, Europe, and like other Hello82. I already said Hello82. Anyway, so yeah, plus those ones. But just Korean websites, I think there's nine. And then with some of them, they're doing, like, if you buy three, you get an extra, like, ticket thing. If you buy three, you get a Polaroid. If you buy three, you get a paper tag with some of the stores. And I think it's because, this is just me guessing, it's because of the fact that they announced the comeback so early. And so instead of starting the fan signs and having, like, a month to, like, buy albums for the fan sign, they're doing this right now. And then probably in a week, or by the time you're watching this video, I'm filming this on the... Today is May 28th. And so, oh, it's right here. Oh my God. <laughs> so today's May 28th. So my guess is probably by the time you're watching this video, they've already announced the fan sign since we're getting closer to June 16th, which is the release date. And yeah, they're probably going to announce fan signs for all of the stores <laughs> I just said. And so that's why they're doing this as well. So you double buy from the stores. And I don't know, there's just so much happening. I'm just joining group orders for now. I am hosting my own group order too for Makestar because I do want the Polaroids because I'm garbage because it's buy three, get one Polaroid. I think that's it. We really need to start storing these because this is going to be such a long video. That's why I only put 80s on its own video because there's also like P1 Harmony and I have some Monster X solos to also set up for but i decided to just start with 80s because there's so so many here is my 80s binder i don't know how many sleeves these are this is the last amount that i had in my pack of ultra pro sleeves before i get into the new one this is the new one like this one's full but i had another pack open and these are what i had left in there so i'm assuming we're gonna use up all of these plus we're gonna need more <laughs> Oh my god. Why did they do this to me? Yeah, I think I, I did watch Shy's video, but she posted that video a while ago, like right when 80s announced their comeback pretty much. And so I don't remember. I think she, the way she collects, I know is a little bit different. Like she collects OT8, but the way she stores her photo cards is different. So if you want to watch her videos to get an idea as well, go right ahead. I do it this way where I have all... The members together i personally just like doing it that way i guess but okay we're gonna start with the album photo cards so we're gonna do the a version first and i labeled them as the little emoji things that they had so they had like a four leaf clover and then this little like sprout thingy going on <laughs> but i just called it the lucky card because there was a four leaf clover so i was like why not call it the lucky card and yeah 
And I also put Sungwa first, as you can see. He's the oldest member, so I feel like I keep bumping into my table. I don't know how long this is going to take me to collect because they have so, so many photo cards now. I just cut these up, so I'm hoping this will be enough for me. If it's not, then that'll be a little sad. <laughs> Same with the sleeves. I'm like, hopefully these are enough sleeves for this. Oh my gosh, beautiful. So we have the A version lucky cards. <laughs> then the next one, it's what I call the peekaboo. It's the one where like the little monkey was covering his eyes. So I'm just going to call it the peekaboo version. I'm pretty excited for this comeback though. It has been a while. I was not excited for Witness Era because <laughs> it was right after the movement comeback. And if y'all know how movement went in the 3 million fan signs and photo cards that they had. And then they, yeah, it was just a lot. <laughs> but I am excited for this one since it's been a bit since their last comeback. I just, I like it better when they take those breaks. Like, they should really do that from now on more often. Okay, so there's that one. Then the next one, I'm calling it the ICU. Peekaboo ICU, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't want to label it like one, two, three, four, which I did later on because my wrist was hurting so bad. This legit, making these freaking fillers took me probably like three hours maybe even longer I started doing it last night and then I started doing it again today or I finished it up today <laughs> but it was like 1 a.m and I was like okay I need to go to bed because I also did it for p1 and then monster x that's what I did last night and then I did the digi packs for ats and <laughs> I was like okay time to go to bed because I'm tired and I finished it today and now I'm just my wrist is killing me. So that's the ICU version. Okay. Then we have the action ones. I don't know if I want it right here or if I should put all of like the actual photo cards up front and then put the action ones behind them. Who knows? I might move this around. But for now, I'm just going to put them in here. And like I said, I had to start using my colorful little filler things because I ran out of the white ones since there's so many comebacks. Oh, also the day I'm filming, Wii announced a comeback and I'm so stressed about Wii's comeback. Y'all have no idea. I'm really excited though because I do want new Wii music, but the whole collecting thing is stressing me out. I'm like, oh no, what am I going to do? With ATs having a comeback and we I I just decided to collect OT for them. I'm yeah, I'm truly just overwhelmed. And then P1 Harmony. <laughs> I'll talk about P1 Harmony in the next storing photo card video or the next setting up photo card video. Setting up my binders. There we go. Setting up my binders video. Don't mind this blue being a completely different shade of blue, please. I ran out of the darker blue one, but I had already, like, started labeling them. And I was like, whatever, I'm just going to keep that one and then make Yuno's the really bright one because he's my bias. Yeah, I like to use these cute, like, sparkly sleeves, which I think y'all know by now. Okay, then, oh, I call these ones the punch ones. I don't know if I said that because that's the emoji they used. Oh, and then we have all of the units. So for these, I just put literally unit one, two, three, because I have no idea who's partnered together. It might be the same as the concept photos that they released, which I know Sungwa and Yo Song are together, Mingi and it's Mingi and Hong Jun together, Wu Young and San, and then Tu Ho, so Jung Ho and you know are together i'm pretty sure that's how the concept photos were so that might be how these are the units are but i honestly have no idea and i couldn't really tell by the little photo thing like the preview
My back is already killing me from doing this. Okay, then we have more units. I'm pretty sure there's 16 units. Yeah, because it's 16 photo cards. Okay. So yeah, I'm not too sure how they're doing this. Maybe it's like four per unit, four photo cards. I messed that one up. But once again, I ran out of this color sticky note. So I had to make do with what I wrote. Same with here. I messed that one up too. Okay, then we'll do the action ones again. I wonder how many photo cards this is. Is this like over 200? I feel like it's over 200 photo cards. Y'all, I'm collecting 280s photo cards. You're kidding. <laughs> now that I say that out loud, it's hilarious. It's actually really funny to me. I haven't even really purchased any albums either yet. I've only purchased the signed ones that Hello 82 released. I bought four of those. I don't remember which one I got two of though. I think it was two of the diary. So one of the A, one of the Z, and then two diary versions. I think that's what I ended up doing. But I kind of don't really remember. <laughs> that was a while ago when they first announced the comeback, like two weeks ago, was it? Because I think we only have like two-ish weeks left until the comeback. Oh, this one I call it the pan version. If you don't know, that's how you say bread in Spanish. It's pan. And then in Korean, it's pan. So it's like very similar. So that's why I just wrote pan. I was like, whatever. Plus, whenever I see bread, I always say pan too. I don't really, I don't really say bread, I feel like. I'm like pan. I don't know. Pan is just like an easier word to say. So that's what I called that one. And then we have the, what I like to call the crazy version. Because that's what the emoji looked like. Just looked crazy. So I bought those four. And then I also bought two digipacks. But I might end up buying two more digipacks off of Hello82. Since I need 16 freaking copies anyway. And then I plan on pre-ordering some digipacks off of Target. Target? freaking albums are really expensive now the album itself like the photo book version one is $32.99 or something and then the target exclusive digipack is $22.99 I was like are you joking like why is it so expensive digipack should only be like $13 why is it so freaking expensive but whatever you gotta do what you gotta do you know so I plan on only probably buying, pre-ordering, I guess, maybe three or four digipacks and then off of Target. And then the four from Hello82. I've only done two, so I'm going to have to order two more, which I really didn't want to do. But if I order two more, then I will probably end up collecting the Hello82 photo card. Because I think you get it with the digipack, too. Wait, what did I call these ones? Oh, the sunglasses, yeah. Are they wearing sunglasses? I think so. Then we have the action photo cards. It looks like they're kind of like cutouts. So we'll see if I end up even putting them in here. I think I would since they're the same size as photo cards. There we go. Okay, now we will do the digipacks. There are two sets, so I have I just labeled them digipack one and two. I don't remember if they had emojis for these. I kind of started giving up at that point because I was exhausted. I need more sleeves already. Gosh dang. I can't believe they're doing this many. Honestly, I can believe it, but it's just the freaking platforms that I'm upset with. Like the digipacks and the album photo book ones, I'm like, okay, whatever. It's the same pretty much as last era. It's just the platforms and the fact that there's so many random photo cards in that. 
that was so unnecessary once again i'm just gonna add a stack of sleeves because i don't feel like counting how many i need and then also with like the uk exclusive digipack i was like <laughs> kind of sad like i want the a uh, you know digipack but that's probably what they were thinking when we got the member digipacks last no not last era it was during movement era so i'm like okay whatever I'm trying to tell myself I don't need it and tell myself I don't if the photo cards are different that I don't need to collect those photo cards if they are different. There we go. So that's it for the digipack. So not horrible. Now we move on to the platforms, which is the majority of the freaking stack. Uh, I don't think I have this organized actually. So I have like Sungwa on one, two, three. Okay, guess I'll do this one backwards. And then group order wise, I've been joining group orders. I have a fixed claim or whatever with a GOM. I think I might have it with two actually. I have no idea though, but I for sure have it with one and that's the one I've been using for my Uno you know, pobs and stuff. And the ones where you have to buy three, I think, where's my list? Like Soundwave is an example. That one, you buy three albums, you get a film strip or something, or a film card. I don't even know. And with that, I plan on, I joined the group order for three different members, but I might just try and sell the photo cards. I don't think I want the extra members, pobs and stuff. I don't think I'm going to be collecting as many pre-order benefits as I thought I was going to this era because of the album situation. And I do want to fully collect their albums, photo cards. That's like my main priority with AGs. And then obviously Yuno's pre-order benefits. And so that's what I'm going to try to stick to. I did want to join group orders for like a few OT8 sets for fanzine cards, but... I truly don't think that's going to happen this time around. I should have done it during Witness Era when they only had a few photo cards and pre-order benefit cards and stuff. Witness Era was such a good era collecting wise because you didn't need to buy that many albums to fully collect them. But I guess they were just trying to have us save our money for Outlaw we should have known we should have known something was gonna happen because of that they would never be that nice to us that's it for the qr code photo cards then we move on to oh my god this one which is the set. So these ones are the ones where you do get like the entire set of photo cards if you pull that member's QR code or whatever. I was talking about the like pop situation, specifically the stores where you have to buy three to get like a special something else. Another one I think is Everline, and for that one I didn't claim three spots in the group order, so I'm not going to get whatever it is. I think it's like a tag or ticket. Oh, it's the paper tag one. I was so over it. I'm like, I'm not going to join group orders for three members. <laughs> it's just too much. I cannot afford to do that, so I'm not going to do it. However, the one that did get me, if y'all, if you know, you know... <laughs> is the make star one and that's only because the random item thing that you get is a polaroid and i kind of want all eight polaroids <laughs> so that's why i decided to host a group order i was like okay let me just host a group order see who joins and then see if people join i should say and people did join like <laughs> my slots were all full by like the maybe the end of the second day I still have two Jungho spots available, which I feel like, I, I, it's sad, but I feel like Jungho spots are always available. So if anybody wants to join for him, please do. He's the cutest little human being, and I can't believe 
not too many people fully collect him. Like, what are you doing? But anyway, then we have these ones. I was debating on collecting Hong, not Hong Jun, <laughs> Jung Ho's pobs this era specifically because it looks like he has purple little streaks in his hair. I need those pre-order benefit and fan sign cards, but after they announced the platform, I was like, nope, not doing that anymore. I did join, I think, B Stage group order for Jung Ho. If you don't know what B Stage is, it's their new platform that they use for to like communicate with 18ies. And on there, I guess you can sell things. And so they're selling their albums on there. And yeah, they have, of course, pre-order benefits. Okay, hopefully I'm doing this correctly. I am really, really hot. It's 80 right now. High 80s, I should say. And the next week, it's going to be in the 90s. And y'all, I hate hot weather. Like, I truly despise hot weather. I'd rather be cold. Uh, winter is my favorite season. I hate sweating unless I'm exercising that I'm like, ooh, love sweating. If I'm just trying to chill and I'm sweating, it's like the worst thing to me. I just, it makes me feel dirty. I don't, I don't know. Am I weird? Also, I'm from Michigan. And so this warm weather, I'm like, what is happening? It was 30 degrees last night and now it's freaking almost 90 degrees. Are you kidding? Also, we haven't turned on our AC, so I think that's why it feels even worse. Sorry, I'm just like ranting now that it's too hot here. <laughs> okay. The reason why I put these ones, I use different colors, is because these ones are like, they're wearing white and the background is white. And so, I don't know, I wanted it to be a different color sticky note. Okay, then we have this one which is image five. At least we do get a guaranteed set. <laughs> and these are not random. I guess I should be thankful for that because there's six of these. Otherwise we would have needed to buy 48 albums or something like that, I think. Oh crap, I did that wrong. See, this is what I get for not paying attention, for complaining. <laughs> Today I uploaded my storing photo cards video, the KQ edition one, and I just find that so funny because now I'm freaking setting up for 200 photo cards and I'm like, I really do pay for KQ's lights. I pay for ATs's rent. I, <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, uh... I also wanted to film the P1 video today setting up for them. I'm so excited for P1 Harmony's comeback. I don't want to say more than 80s because I'm also super excited for 80s comeback. I'm excited for all the comebacks happening and all the new music. I'm just not as excited collecting wise. <laughs> oh my god, we're done with the image cards. Finally. Now we have the one out of four ones, which are these. I'm just gonna put these ones in starting with Jung Ho now. <laughs> Thank God I made the Amazon haul and I purchased these colorful ones. I did it so that I could use the transparent sticky notes that I have, but those transparent sticky notes, they kind of like transfer and I don't want the pen to get on the Ultra Pro sleeves because that would be just horrible. And then it would get on the sleeve of the photo card yeah that just sounds disastrous so i was like i'm not going to use those transparent sticky note things specifically for my binders i thought it was an amazing idea but apparently it's not sadly <laughs> okay so this is one out of four then we have the two out of four Oh yeah, but as I was saying, I am hosting a group order and I am pretty excited. I had fun hosting the Psychers group order. It was for also a Make Star one and it was the like little kitty photo cards. This time it's hollow photo cards for 80s, but yeah, it was fun.
it wasn't too overwhelming since it was only I think eight people plus me for the psychers one this one however I think is like 15 people so it's like oh almost double the amount of people but it shouldn't be horrible hopefully <laughs> okay so there's two out of four. Oh my god, I need more sleeves. I even tweeted. I'm expecting them to now come out with like a... Oh, did I skip William? Oh, he's right there. My bad. But I'm expecting them to come out with a Weverse version, a Carrot version, an S Mini, JYP one, a YG tag. Just kidding. I, I was low-key though, like I wouldn't be surprised if they came out with something like that or like the KQ edition, but KQ's website is terrible so I'm hoping that they don't do that. <laughs> I would be so sad. I would for sure join a group order for that. I would not purchase it myself. I don't want to go through that pain and anxiety. Oh my gosh, only one left for these ones. They literally call it PC1, like photo card one, but there's four photo cards so is it PC one two three four like what even why is Mingi did I mix up all of them no Wu Young Wu Young oh my god I did okay let me fix this first you guys are probably have already commented this well now you can delete the comment or edit your comment and be like just kidding bestie fixed it if I made other mistakes please do let me know because. That's the only way I realize is when you guys comment. <laughs> Otherwise, I, like, truly, I don't even notice sometimes. Unless I'm filming, like, uh, my entire photo card collection video, then I'm like, oh, wait. Oops, I accidentally messed that up. Okay. There we have it. I am pre-filming. I think I have six videos right now pre-filmed, <laughs> which is a lot of videos, but that's because I plan on did I wait let me make sure okay that's because there's gonna be people working on our basement soon and so it's gonna be really freaking loud and I just yeah I want to make sure that I have enough videos just in case I'm not able to film plus I had a lot of things come to me like arrive to me all at the same time and so then obviously I have to film the videos for them but I am going to try to stagger the videos out so that it's not an entire week where I have a video every day. And then the next two weeks I have like zero videos. <laughs> I try to stick with the two videos a week kind of schedule. Which I feel like works for me doing Sundays and Fridays. Plus it's the holiday weekend. It's Memorial weekend. So that's why I'm also able to film so much. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, this is photo card two now, and there's two versions. Ooh, gosh. I keep accidentally bending the sticky notes. Whoops. Oh my gosh, y'all, we're almost done. I do have one other thing to do, though, for them. I want to store the U.S. cards since I am for sure collecting all eight. Those ones are so easy to collect since I end up with a three million extra albums. There's the fire one. Now we move on to PC3. I call it the cheeky pose since they're like resting their hand on their cheek. I think the photo cards though are going to be really cute. And then once I have them all, I'm going to be like, it was so worth it. <laughs> That's normally what happens every era. I'm like stressed out in the beginning seeing how many photo cards I have to collect. And then I have them all. Man, this was the best idea I've ever had. struggling trying to open that one up okay geez i ran through all of these <laughs> i'm gonna have to cut up more for setting up for p1 and for monster x okay so there we have it the cheeky ones and then lastly we have the peace sign i just put peace once again i was so tired oh my gosh look at this one i didn't even make a new sticky note for it it's how lazy i got at the end it's like i just want to be done my arthritis was really coming out too <laughs> writing this all whoops oh 
Hopefully I didn't misspell anything either. It was rushing. Plus I don't have that much time to film today. So I was like, I need to film this video. Okay, let's go through this. Holy crap. <gasps> you guys, this is so much. Oh my God. It's the same as having two different eras. This is just one era of photo cards. They better not announce any other versions of albums or I'm going to be livid. Okay, so let's start with the A version. <laughs> we have the Lucky cards, the Peekaboo cards, the I See You cards, then the Action ones. Then for Diary, we have Punch versions, and then the 16 unit photo cards, and then the Action photo cards. Then we have the Z version, which we have the bun or the bread photo card or bung photo card. The P though in Korean is more like a B, so it's bung photo card. Like bung, you know, anyway. Then we have the crazy <laughs> version, the sunglasses, and then the action photo card. Then we have the two digipack versions, so digipack one and two. Now we have the platform photo card, so the QR version one, two, and three. And then the image photo cards. <laughs> and there's six of these. Three. Oh my gosh, even right there, I was like so over it. Like, nope, not about to waste another sticky note. Then we have the PC one. I don't know why they just call it photo card one, but they do. So one, two, three, four of those. Then we have photo card two, and there's the glasses version and the fire version. And then the photo card three, there's cheeky and peace sign photo cards and that's it oh my god i am exhausted are you guys exhausted just watching this <laughs> like pray for me or manifest for me the us cards i put in the at's pobs binder which is this binder and i'm also doing the make start like ot8 sets but i ran out of these things and so i can't set up for anything besides the us cards right now so yeah that's all i'm gonna put in here since i know for a fact i'm collecting this and the make star cards and then i might do target i'm not sure we'll see i don't think i will actually because the target and the walmart and the barnes and noble they all look exactly the same <laughs> They're just doing different poses, so I don't think it's worth me collecting them all, but we'll see. Okay, there we have it. Oh, I need a different sleeve. And there we... Oh, Jungho. And there we have it. <laughs> the end of me setting up my binder for ATS's comeback and I didn't even include any of the pre-order benefit cards because I was already overwhelmed with the album cards but anyway I hope y'all enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you want to and I will see you guys in the next one